The fallout now from the Fed's latest interest rate hike. It's moved to raise rates for the sixth time this year to curb inflation, triggered a big drop in the stock market yesterday. Whit Johnson has the latest from the New York Stock Exchange. Good morning, Whit. George, good morning. This is another jumbo interest rate increase, and it's the Federal Reserve's latest effort to fight back against this historic inflation. The fourth consecutive interest rate hike of this magnitude uh, in a row at three quarters of a point. As you noted there, the six hikes so far this year at a target range of 3.75 to 4%. Rates now the highest they've been since 2008. And this will have a real life impact on things like credit card debt and mortgages, costing Americans more to borrow money. And anyway, what really got the attention of the financial markets was the signal from the Fed that these interest rate hikes are gonna continue. George, that's right. Fed Chair Jerome Powell suggested the hikes will continue, possibly more than expected. But he also said the pace of those interest rate hikes may begin to slow, meaning the future increases the next several could be at a lower rate than we've seen so far, the three quarters of a point that we saw recently. And that could begin to happen as soon as their next meeting in December. Again, all of this, a delicate balancing act as they're trying to cool inflation now at 40 year highs and also try to prevent a possible recession from from taking hold as more economists are forecasting a recession next year. And this is something that the Federal Reserve is also monitoring the latest data that's coming out to determine the next steps, including the latest jobs numbers out tomorrow. George Rick Johnson, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.